In this tutorial we will show how to calibrate the confocal volume. So first we need to open a workspace which contains a measurement of a die with a known diffusion coefficient. We calculate the FCS curve of this die using the FCS script. So the measurement is loaded into the FCS script and a new window appears which contains the parameter area, the time trace area and the area where the FCS curve will be plotted. For the parameters we can set as we like. If we use a pulsed laser for excitation we can enable the FC FLCS background correction which allows us to cr discriminate from fluorescent and background photons. We calculate the correlation curve and the autocorrelation appears in the big window. So we save this result and a new file is created that contains the autocorrelation curve. Close this window and apply onto that file the FCS calibration script. The FCS calibration script imports the measurement and we can simply try an initial fit to apply a simple diffusion plus triplet model. So here, especially the diffusion time is fitted. Now we have to enter the known diffusion coefficient to fit again to update the calculation of the confocal volume. As you can see, there are three confocal volumes calculated. The upper one is basically calculated from the concentration, which is not known in this case. Second one is calculated from the diffusion coefficient, which we just entered, and the third one is the mean of both. Which one we want to use? We can select here. In our case, we of course want to use the volume calculated from the diffusion constant. We click on set use values for calibration and this volume is set as effective calibration volume. We save this result, create a new file and can close this window.